All right, we're in bonus segment number eight. We're playing Jeopardy for the N64. Let's see how we do this game. Welcome to your favorite game of Answers and Questions. We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. Categories are... We're going to deal with Explorers, Valentine's Day, Classical Mythology, The Movies, Kidnapped, and finally, deal with Shakespearean characters. Make a selection. Um, classical mythology for 100 places. Achilles died after one of these weapons wounded him in the heel. Well, let's see if Jen knows this any better than I do. Or no, Monty, Monty, an axe. Sorry, Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? Uh, I'll try this one, but first I have to write down that Whammy Inc. is getting $100 for that incorrect response. There we go. I'm going to say what's an arrow. That's right. There we go. Select again. Possible Mythology 200. Demeter sometimes rides around in one of these vehicles pulled by dragons. We're looking for a chariot. Select again. I wanted to say that, but I wasn't sure enough. Classical mythology for 300, please. These three goddesses who control human destinies are also called the Mori. Who are the fates? That's right. Classical mythology 400, please. Select again. Urania is usually described as the muse of this science. It's astronomy. Pick again. Classical uh, mythology fighter, please. Some say this underworld canine has serpents entwined around his multiple necks. Who is Cerberus, please? Who is Cerberus? Right. There we go. Select again. Let's look over the categories one more time. Uh, Explorers for 100. He first reached the mainland of the Americas on the coast of Venezuela in 1498. Who is Christopher Columbus? You got it. Select, Select again. again. Explorers for 200. He explored the South American coast from Rio de Janeiro to the strait that now bears his name. Who is Ferdinand Magellan? Right. Explorers for 300. Select again. The main source of information about this man's conquest of Peru was written in 1535 by his secretary. Oh, too late. Francisco Franco, and that was my... No, Francisco Pizarro. Right. He's the one, okay. Make a selection. He and Oliver Hardy appeared in 1917's Lucky Dog, but didn't become a team until 1926. Who is Stan Laurel? That's right. The movies are too heavy, please. 
Marty Dixon provided Eliza's singing voice in this 1964 musical. What is My Fair Lady? You got it. The movie's for 300. Select again. Director Alina Wertmuller's first job in movies was that this director's assistant on Eight and a Half. Oh, who directed Eight and a Half? For Federico Fellini. Like uh, the movie's for 400. The title of this 1994 Harrison Ford action hit can be traced to a 1919 Supreme Court opinion by Oliver Wendell Holmes. What is clear and present danger? You got it. The movie's for 500. Select again. In this film, a tidal wave overturns a luxury liner during a New Year's Eve party. Oh my, uh... If I were to buzz in and take a guess... Well... Let's see if Jack can get it. The Poseidon Adventure, and believe it or not, that actually was my guess. You got it. Yeah, oh well. Make a selection. That's okay. Explorers for 400. His father made him governor of the Portuguese province of Algar, where he built a school for navigation. Have a guess on this one. Built a second? I don't think so. Sorry. No. Nope. Anyone else? If I were to buzz in, I'd say who is Vasco da Gama. No, Henry the Navigator. Henry the Navigator. Oh. Make a selection. Kidnapped for 100. In 1960, Adolf III, a grandson of this brewery founder, was kidnapped and murdered. Uh, who is uh, Guinness? No. Sorry. Wrong. Anyone else? Oh. Um, derp. We're looking for Adolf Coors. Make a selection. A wooden ladder was one of the most damaging pieces of evidence linking this man to the kid Lindbergh kidnapping. Judge Crater? No, no that's incorrect. Correct. Anyone else? Not Judge Crater. We have to give up another two hundred dollars to Whammy Inc. Bruno Richard Hoffman. Make a selection. Valentine's Day for one. Hallmark eliminated this color for its Valentine envelopes. Also, computers can't read them. What is red? That's a correct response. Make a selection. Valentine's Day for 200. The holiday may go back to Lupercalia, a Roman festival in this month. I'll just say what's February. That's right. Yeah. Select again. Valentine's Day for 300, please. Enter the daily double. A Danish woman who guesses her secret Valentine Center's identity gets an egg from him on this holiday. What is Easter? Right. Valentine's Day for 400. This Rogers and Hart song has been used in the film Gentlemen Mary, Mary Brunettes and Pal Joey. What is my funny Valentine? That's right. Valentine's Day for 500. Select again. In Hamlet, 
on it. She sings about Valentine's Day. Where's Ophelia? Right. right. Select again. Kidnap the 300, please. It was the alias adopted by Patty first while she was with the SLA. was kidnapped himself in 1987. I don't know this one, so I'm not buzzing in. Uh, holy God, holy. Whew. And we're looking for Terry White. Pick again. In 1924, this pair received life sentences for the murder of Bobby Franks. Plus 99 years for kidnapping him. I will say we're Julius and Ethel Rosenberg. the northernmost point of New Zealand. Dutch four. Alright. Abel Tasman? You got it. Yeah. Make a selection. A lieutenant general to Octavius and Anthony and Cleopatra, or a bullish sign of the Zodiac. Who is Taurus? Right. 200. Make a selection. Sinus shouts liberty, freedom, tyranny is dead after this man is stabbed to death. Who is Julius Caesar? You got it. 300. Select again. Servilius is a servant to this title character of Athens. Who is Timon? That's right. 400. Select again. One of his last lines is, I bear a charmed life, which must not be yielded to one a woman born. Macbeth. Select again. Excalus, prince of this city, says, For never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. What is Verona? Right. Double jeopardy time. All right, it's time now for the double jeopardy round. Remember, we have two daily doubles in this round of play. Categories for you are as follows. Geography, I'm good at that category. World capitals, I'm really good at that category. People, we'll see. I'm pretty good. Oh no, notice the letter O in quotation marks. Awards, and finally we're going to deal with 
Russian history. Make a selection. An international award for authors and illustrators of children's books was named for this Danish author. Uh, who was Newberry? No. Sorry, Sorry. Wrong. wrong. Anyone else? Oh boy. Is it Hans Christian Andersen? Yes, it is. Uh, oh well. Darn. Make a selection. That's okay. In the 1970s, she was a freelance photographer for the Tennessean while her husband Al was a reporter. Who is Tipper Gore? You got it. People for 400. Make a selection. Atlas Shrugged author who wrote the screenplay for the Jennifer Jones Joseph Cotton film, Love Letters. Atlas Shrugged. Uh, Atlas Shrugged. Oh, who, who was it? Who was it? Ian Rand. That was my guess. That's right. That's right. It's okay. It's okay. Make a selection. Make a selection. Russia's first permanent settlement in this territory was founded in 1784 on Kodiak Island. What is Alaska? Right. Russian history for 400. Make a selection. Or geography 400. The Seward Peninsula is on one side of this strait. Oops, I didn't mean to go there. What is the uh, Bering Strait? Right. Geography 200. Select again. In Sudan, the Atabara River joins this river at its last tributary. What is the Nile? You got it. Jack Paper 600. Like An eruption of the Sicilian volcano in 1983 lasted nearly four months. What is Mount Etna? That's a correct response. Jack Paper 800. And two. Daily Double. In Roman times, this peninsula was called Hispania. What is Spain? No, sorry. It's not? Select again. Iberia. Well, I can get it back. Geography 1000. The inland sea separates Kyushu and Shikoku from this main island of Japan. What is Honshu? That's right. That's right. Select again. Russian history 400. In 1698, wishing to modernize Russia, this czar instituted a beard tax. Who is Ivan the Terrible? No. Sorry. Sorry. Wrong. Wrong. Anyone else? Dang it. We're looking for Peter the Great. Pick again. Russian history 600. 1954, this peninsula in the Black Sea was transferred from Russia to Ukraine. Crimea, yeah. That's right. Make a selection. He spent two years in prison, which led him to write the Ballad of Reading Gowl. Oscar Wilde, yeah. That's a correct response. Make a selection. This Thai city has hundreds of Buddhist temples, including Wat Arun, the Temple of Dawn. What is Bangkok? That's right. We'll tell us for four hundred. 
Duke Berchtold of Zarengen founded this Swiss city in 1191. What is Bern? That's a correct well, response. Well, for six hundred. Right? again. This city was known as Serdica in ancient times, long before it became Bulgaria's capital. What is Sofia? That's right. World Cup was for 800. Collect again. This Moroccan city lies at the mouth of a shallow river called the Bu Reg Reg. What is Rabat? Right. right. World Cup was 1,000. Select again. Yerevan, the capital of this republic, lies about 35 miles from Mount Ararat. What is Armenia? You got it. Select again. Uh, let's take the $400 for the uh, awards. In 1994, Mary Ann Tyndall of Whiteville, North Carolina won this contest's grand prize with fudgy bonbons. What is the Pillsbury Bake Off? Right. Awards for Select 600. Again. This composer won a 1961 Grammy for his soundtrack album from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Who's Henry Mancini? You got it. Uh, awards for Henry. Like again. In 1972, this chairman of McDonald's received the Horatio Alger Award. Who's Ray Kroc? Ray. Right. Awards for 1,000. Select again. The George Halas Trophy is presented to the Outstanding Defensive Player of the Year in this pro sport. What is football? You got it. Yep. Select again. I will take people for 800. She was the first performer to heed the National Endowment for the Arts since its inception in 1965. Jane Alexander. Collect again. The Bad Place and Mr. Murder are among the tales of terror by this best selling author.
Onward. Again. A super annuated sombrero, or two word phrase that describes it if it's behind the times. Old hat? That's right. right. Make a selection. Two stars named Sipe and Rigel mark this hunter's legs. What is Orion? Who is Orion? Yeah, what is Orion? That's a correct response. Make a selection. Russian history for 800. Ivan the Terrible venerated this saint for whom a red square cathedral is named. Who is, uh, St. Basil? You got it. And the last one is mine, because it's the other daily double. And so the other daily double. I'll turn the 1200 on this clip. Theodore II, czar from April to June of 1605, was the son of this man, hero of a Mazurkski opera. Uh... Who is Cher Noble? No, I'm know. sorry, that's wrong. Looking for Boris Gudinov. All right, players, right, start thinking about your wagers for Final Jeopardy based on what you know about this category. The category for Final Jeopardy is 1970. And your Final Jeopardy answer is... On April 26th, a bomb ripped through the Louisiana State Capitol in this city. What is Baton Rouge? Let's see if our contestants were successful. What did you put down as your response? You got it. It is Baton Rouge, yep. So I will win $10,000 this game. No, I'm sorry, that's Baton wrong. New Orleans. So you're going to lose $950, but I win $10,000, as I just mentioned a little bit ago. You got it. And I will see you all for that next bonus segment right after this. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon. We will. Thanks, Larry. Good game. Come on, everybody. Let's do it again, Neil. 